Good day tech readers. Today we'll be looking at Garmin's top of the range tracker, the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. This is an update on the original Vivo Active 3. This one includes the music function, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, before we get there, things you always expect to find in a, a Garmin product is great GPS. So together with the usual sensors for step count and sleep, uh, sleep measurement and all that sort of thing, this one has GPS, which is indispensable to getting accurate readings for how far you've walked, how far you've run and so on. Uh, it's also fully waterproof, which is great, you can wear it in the shower, but most importantly, you can wear it swimming. Uh, it's got Garmin's most advanced heart rate reader in here as well. So you're getting a great bunch of sensors all together for a top of the range tracker. Uh, another of the features you'll find in this top of the range tracker is Garmin's stress measurement. That's turning up in more of its products these days. And we think that's based on what they call heart rate variability. And what that's about is it measures when your heart rate climbs when you're not doing anything active and it assumes that stress is actually pushing your heart rate up, which is an interesting way of measuring stress. The screen on this model will appear somewhat dull compared to many other trackers you may have seen, but the important thing is that you can read it in broad daylight. It's specially designed to do that and it has extraordinary battery life of over five days in our test, which is very hard to do with a smartwatch, a regular smartwatch, for example. So the dullness of the screen doesn't mean it's unreadable at all. It just means it's not illuminated the same way as a traditional smartwatch. Garmin's trackers are getting smarter all the time, and Garmin has a Connect IQ app store where you can download more utilities, which allow you to upgrade the features of your watch. In my case, for example, I added a biorhythm app. Biorhythms are a lot of hocus pocus, but it's a fun way of measuring what your day is looking like or what your capabilities look like going into the day. But what differentiates this watch from its predecessor is the music function. Now, we were a little disappointed that the only way you could add music into the watch was by attaching it to your PC, which then in turn required you to install software and so on. But it does work and it allows you then to pair with any Bluetooth headset for running. I, uh, I run in the mountains near my home, so in general I find I want to hear the sounds of nature around me, but that's not the case for most runners who are pounding the pavement somewhere. And if you want music, this is a great way to do it. You don't have to take your phone with you. It streams directly from the watch into your headset. And you can even organize your playlists and so on on there. Another feature is that you can actually pair the watch with your car radio, for example, and play music from your watch in the car, or you could play it through any Bluetooth speaker, for example. It's great to know that you actually have your favorite tunes with you all the time, whether you're running or not running, you still have your tunes with you, and you can pair it with any headset or any audio, Bluetooth audio device you have available. And so that is what differentiates the Garmin Viva Active 3 music from its predecessor, the Viva Active 3. You can upload music onto the watch and play it through your headphones or any other Bluetooth device. What you're going to pay for this top of the range tracker is 6,000 Rand.